So, just a random video for today that I kind of had to giggle a little bit. Like, bro, once you get it, like, you step into your divinity and start walking your purpose, right? And you're a healer or psychic. Bro, your bounce back game is, like, freaking lit, dude. <laughs> I was, like, so sick yesterday. And I was puking all day. Felt like shit. I mean, to the point where I was, like, puking blood. It was so bad. And, um, you know, uh, like I'm telling you, bro, must have been something I ate, <clears throat> you know, but, uh, oh my God, dude, like, I'm going to tell you what, put on some healing frequency, take care of yourself real good. Shit. Not even 24 hours. Bounce back game is freaking lit, bro. Um, it's crazy. I'm telling you. But uh shout out to all y'all out there still trying to like take me out even though you're totally leaving me alone though. <laughs> you you the real dumb ones. Um with all your stupid little black magic and shit. I get so tired of that shit. Like go get a job, you lazy bitch. Straight up. <laughs> go get a goddamn job. Get your ass out of here. Um and it's so crazy because uh for me specifically, there are a couple people involved in this that are, like, deeply rooted in the police department. Like, they got family up in that bitch. Um, grandpas that were sheriffs of the county and shit like that in the past. So, like, ain't no local gonna do a damn thing. But eventually, I already know that, um, you know, people are watching, people know what's up. And that uh the FBI going to be all in that shit, you know what I'm saying? So like, bro, I will literally I'm telling you, I will I will like dip shit, dance it up when I see raids happening and shit like that because these fuckers deserve it. Get okay, talk all that shit. They're like <laughs> I think it's funny people try to be like, "Oh, you're a drug dealer, you're a prostitute, all this other shit." Like tell people that shit about me, but when like for one, I don't even have friends, let alone clients. Let's be real. <laughs> Um, I've never prostituted in my life. I have a little too much self-respect for that, unfortunately for them. Uh, fortunate enough for me though. And, uh, I just think it's freaking hilarious because like all them out there doing that shit. <clears throat> it's funny cause I got these people accusing me of all this shit when like they are literally running prostitution rings and helping deal out the fucking fentanyl and drugs that are going around this, uh, state, you know, but like God for freaking bid. And you know. You think the local police department already being investigated um, where I'm at would probably be like, oh shit, this is our opportunity to like not look like a piece of shit and redeem ourselves. But no, like God forbid y'all turn around and do the right thing though, right? God forbid y'all do the right thing. Corrupt ass POS. That's not everybody though, because like shout out to the people in the police department and the federal agents and everybody that has a position of power that does their job, like y'all some real ones. But I'm telling you, dude, it's so crazy. Cause it's like, <laughs> it's like, bro, y'all haven't caused enough problems for yourself here. Let's cause some more. Let's just keep going, bro. <laughs> a lot of them have backed off. I've noticed though. Um, I don't know, probably cause they know they're about to get their ass clapped, but I mean, it is what it is, you know? But, uh, does not make it any cooler that I got, like, um, uh, my exes stalking me on, you know, through my phone and listening to everything I'm saying, recording all my calls. Um, by the way, uh, y'all are dipshits. I hope you, I hope you found what you were looking for. Obviously you didn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> y'all sitting there recording someone like a fucking straight weirdo, illegal as fuck, to, to literally not even find shit, bruh. Like, did you enjoy my, like, all my conversations with my mommy and, like, my brother? Because that's pretty much, like, the people I talk to. My conversations with my homegirl, like, my one friend that doesn't even live in this state, bro. Like, I mean, damn, bro. Damn, bro. Y'all are dumber than shit. <laughs> Need some sun? Because y'all shady as fuck. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I'm going to try to go on here and do some readings. I'm still, I'm not going to lie. I'm still feeling a little rough from yesterday. That was a whole lot of puking, bro. For a minute, I was like, oh, man, I feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> I 
I had like man flu syndrome for a second. I was like, oh, I feel like I'm going to die right now. But no, that shit hella hurts. Like when it comes to digestional shit for me, I don't fucking appreciate it. Um, I don't like being sick. I don't like wasting time. Like I got shit to do, kids to take care of, you know what I'm saying? Unlike all these people out here stalking my page and doing dumb shit and then subscribing and unsubscribing because I call them out on my videos and shit. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, right? Um, anyways, so peace, love, and light. I hope everybody has a good day. I'm debating on if I even want to do readings right now because something's telling me <clears throat> that I just need to like step back and kind of let shit unfold because I ain't trying to really give away anybody's karma. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm being told is that I could end up because I get so in the zone when I do those readings that uh, I end up giving away somebody's karma because I'm like not paying attention. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm just like in my zone. So I might uh, bad back on the readings for a little bit and just come on here and talk about some shit like some advice or something. You know what I mean? But I hope everybody has a good day. This is just a random spiel. You're going to hear a lot of these. Peace, love, and light, bro.